Well, ready? I'm ready. Let's just do it. Get I'm ready. Batun. I thought that was Sam's band. I didn't know that was the AI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could be the same thing, though, really. I mean, maybe you should send it to him. He's probably like, I can do this. Sam's band? Sam's I thought band. he recorded something for you guys that you were able to use for your... Which oh, Sam you oh you're thinking of... Uh, uh, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, right. Yeah. From Scam Like. Yeah. Er, okay. <laughs> never mind. Boy, We're wow. done. <laughs> I already can't. Take two. Yeah. From El Rongo. <laughs> El Rongo. I think they, Scam they, like. Righto. They Righto. did do something. Righto. El Rongo. I just don't think it's completed yet. Oh, okay. Um, well, especially I think it would be Mr. Albini cooler. passing. Right. I'm about ready to get rid of this song, but it's not happening anytime real soon since it takes time to do that stuff. Yes, yes. It takes yeah. time for you to type in to AI. AI. Please <laughs> play this. Well, why can't, we, why can't you just get the thing from El Rongo? Well, takes we'll get time. them to finish it would be awesome. <laughs> hey, everybody, that's Tony over there. JK. Hi. Nice record store shirt. We got Mr. Dave Slabowski here. Sealy Dave. Sealy Loggers. Hey, when it's red, it's looking at you. Okay. <laughs> Sealy Loggers. Daily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sven here, of course, and uh, it is Full Spectrum Cycling. Wait, wait. Is it Loggers or Loggers? 284th loggers. Oh. show. 284. All right, Mr. Intro Talker. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, let me just turn though. this off. No need for that noise anymore. Well, what a weekend. Did, Indeed. Did you look at the show notes and count how many places we stopped at? Yes, and I, I, I actually... <laughs> may, may have forgotten one. I did verbalize them to somebody today, and it was funny, because they were like, what? Well... And, and like, I'm tired, like, listening to that. So, Santa Rampage, and then also the same day, Global Fat Bike Day. I did not ride a fat bike to the event and had planned on riding after, but... The event for me landed, ended at like 11.30 at night, and I was, Oops. I was done. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, we did see a bunch of fat bikes on the event, so. Yeah, absolutely. Took a few pictures normally, of those. Normally, I, yeah. If you got any pictures, throw them my way, because I will I already posted a story, but we could put some more pictures in there. Normally, it's my idea to, when, you know, when Rampage and Global Fat Bike, which seems Always to be. Always overlap. Exactly. Yeah. Coincide. Try to. Attend Rampage with Fat Bike. Yeah. But I just got the fuck you bike, and I really wanted to ride that <laughs> fuck you bike with Santa on it. So it just well, every day, so nice. Every day is Global Fat Bike Day for some people. To right. Yeah. right. And for me, it was more about getting the Omnium in front of people. I had a few people mm. test ride it. Everybody's stoked about that thing, and I'm kind of just trying to raise interest. So that was a good place to get a bunch of people to see. There Let's were some people See an them. Omnium and how awesome that thing is. I think this is... I think this is only the second one that I've missed. I, you were there maybe, in spirit. Maybe the your name was maybe the third. I mean, I started it, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <what's> <laughs> the, we'll go back a little bit in time. It was what was the what it's was the year little bit in, in the time. wayback we're machine? You know, I don't even remember it's like the twenty eleven. Yeah, something like that. I've got definite photos from twenty twelve, and I think there was a year before that that I don't have photos from. But the first year was five six people you know just riding around and going from bar to bar we rode over the home bridge each of the first like five it, years or that's six impressive. years or something and that's that was banditing not uh yes no not, no, no permits yeah. there were no <laughs> permits for anything that that we did initially right. um we rode through grand avenue mo oh you know this is how you know how small it was everyone was able to ride through coppas Wow. <laughs> Everyone on the ride was able to ride through Coppas. That's something. I mean, what? Uh, That's also really cool. I mean, <laughs> so how many times has Coppas been sold since then? I, is it for sale again? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The cupboards are a little bit bare. No, it came up on uh, my memories from 2012. And this was the abbreviated, but it was still had a route. Oh yeah, so it still that had so that was very. It was, it was so it, it, so it's much earlier yes, than that. Yes, than, that's when it. Yeah, it was at least three years before oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that. So that was actually a bike fed specific one. Nope, 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 nope. That's pre bike fed. Yeah, that's when it was actual route route. Come dressed like Santa. Yeah, have fun. Lakefront Great Lakes, Kochanski's Cafe Central. 
Yeah. That, uh, so we did Wait, hit most that? of the traditional. Yeah. I mean, we like Hollander was. Was that pouring rain day? Well, Mike yeah. Idol was was partners still yeah. with you know uh, Central then. So um, yeah. So we worked with them all. We've always worked with Mike. Mike was on the first one. I think started from Trocadero. Mm-hmm. I think oh. we we started at Trocadero then. Gotcha. So Mike Mike wasn't on it that year, but he quickly said, "Oh, this is cool," you know, and he rode with yeah. us for most of them after that. Yeah, we 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 saw him at Nomad for sure. It just I always he I'm amazed at out too. how many how I many know. fingers how many pies fingers of his he, are he has, yeah he's got his fingers into everything yeah interesting so yeah so uh, Dave was one of the founders or the founder of. I think the, the founder. Santa Cycle Rampage. I, well, I technically stole the name from a friend of mine, John Greenfield in Chicago, that did one in Chicago. And it had gone on a couple years before that. John, I don't know if you guys remember, John, um, he was the bike rack installer, the guy in charge of putting all the bike racks in mm. in Chicago at the time. And he um, and I had a ride called uh, the Frozen Snot Century where... Every we would trade off from year to year who had to take off Milwaukee or Chicago Friday, oh. and we would ride down there for the Chicago um, winter bike party, and then they would ride back here, and they would we would hang out somewhere here, and then they would ride back, and then it would switch the other way. Around. <laughs> it was in February. Yeah. It was in February every year, and people did it on tall bikes. It you know it actually got fairly large for a while a hundred people would nice. do it you know in the middle of february in the olden times yeah that's pretty yeah good. so on a tall bike so but he started the santa cycle rampage in chicago and their gig though was let's go to um the miracle mile to michigan avenue and sing and he's a musician and a songwriter and sing anti-consumer christmas carols <laughs> at and i was like yeah, you know, how about we just have fun, dress up like Santa, and drink beer, <laughs> and, and leave the whole anti-consumer advocacy gonna, to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, you're going to get a lot more people participating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and and rightly so. That's what the Chicago one, despite it being six million whatever people mm-hmm. in the metro, you know, never drew more than like twenty or thirty people. Right. And ours, right. obviously, it's like two thousand. Yeah, now. this. this yeah, well, the so. weather was fifty degrees, so it brought out a lot of people that probably wouldn't normally have come out and. Easily, awesome. so easily two thousand. But then, I mean, we didn't ride. Oh, you know, uh, as as a group, we didn't ride the main ride. We, a lot we, of people don't. Well, we went to we went and met at Great Lakes. We meandered or at uh, Lakefront meandered to Great Lakes, with many stops in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, wow. sixteen. If you count Kyle's, okay. if you count Kyle's back room, that is a lot. And of That's stops. what did me. I didn't in, folks. do the last one. <laughs> I just did the second well, to last one. You might have helped there though, because what was there was a bottle of bullet bourbon. Oh hell no! And when you know what, and, and I, I when actually, Kyle and I left, mm, guess what was not there? The bottle of the bourbon. bottle of bullet bourbon. So guess where I slept? Right I, behind you on the floor. I was going to say, <laughs> oh, I was gonna say I, 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 inside that bottle of bourbon. Yes, I slept <laughs> right there because I'm no way I'm driving I'm, my car home right now. I'm I'll tell you that cups. much. I'm in my cups. I'm so in my <laughs> cups. Yeah. All in all, it was a good much. weekend, though. I, I was. I'm sorry I missed it, but you know, I had to come down for my dad's surgery thing, so I could not be in Milwaukee that extended period of time. Right. So. No, it makes sense for sure. I got to uh, the marsupial bridge, and yeah, you're you're, you're listed on here, Tony Bale. <laughs> I, <Lake bailed>. <laughs> I, I looked down from the marsupial bridge, and I saw so many Santas. I'm like, you know what? I have beer at home. Yeah, well, there was a lot of Santas down. And I'm like, I'm oh, that's when go you bailed. Okay, yeah, yeah, he back. just went up instead of down. I'm I'm like, actually, I always, I always enjoy hanging out outside of Lakefront. Yeah, uh, because they do serve beer out there, and they usually now have somebody actually pretty decent singing goofy Christmas carols or Only something like that. Only two porta parties though. Oh, that's oh. a major faux pas. Yeah. I mean, they literally <sighs> had four. But two of them were construction and locked with padlocks. Oh, yeah. That's... I mean, you're kind of inviting public urinations <laughs> yes, at are. that point. But I w- did not do that. I was diligent and I waited in line. But everyone was bitching at everybody else that was mm. waiting in line. Because <laughs> guess what? Everyone's in gear. Do you remember when they It's had... going to take time. Yeah, yeah. So for sure. what I did was snuggie over the shoulder, pants down. I mean, 
I had shorts on, so I'm not like naked. You're already in line with your pants down, getting yeah. ready to go. Yeah, I'm going like, I'm, I'm going that's like, come Santa. on, come on, let's do this. Now that's a Santa. Yes. There you go. So I made some friends in line. Remember when they had? <laughs> remember the couple of years they had the um, beer bubbler there? They had a beer bubbler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was a nice. Those guys are cool. They've been at that for a long time. All right. Well, I didn't wander around too much. Since apart. we're we're about to the top of the hill on the rampage thing, let's uh, let's talk about what we got going for beer today. It is all right already. There you go. Uh, from Toppling Goliath, it is pseudo Sue. The reason why we have this instead of hams is because they had twelve packs of this and it wasn't that expensive. So. Right. Yeah. Autos? Were... yeah. Nah, I'm gonna Anywhere. And uh, it's and so it's funny. pseudo Sue, not King Sue, which every bar around here seems to have the King Sue. Huh. I think we've talked about this before, but that knocks you out though. It this does. Is so easy and to this drink. doesn't, even though you drink a few of them and it is it's still you still gotta be it's careful. a little high test. Yeah. It's in the, <laughs> probably it in seven? The, I don't know, it's in the sixes. Sixes. It probably yeah. says somewhere well, on here. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking. just it's saying. In the sixes, it's it is it is a decora tie-in because Chewy did a uh, a very sad, he said, Santa rampage in decora. Oh, I just uh, like little Cindy Lou. You know what? Okay, so a place like Decora <laughs> and um, Lunds and I five eight. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, it was a super easy, easy drink. Easy yeah. drinkable. It's almost in the session. Can might as well. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you might as well just get. That's me not even one. a senior citizen there. Come um, on now. So Lunds and I over the last several years have not done Milwaukee. We've gone to Rochester, Minnesota, a couple of times. We went to Decora last year to kind of try and bring outside people into the thing and say, let's yeah. get this rolling. Rochester got going pretty good. A, a, one of the good years there, we had TV coverage. Um, Chewy was able to arrange that. I've heard that. some of those post-Rampage podcasts from those Yeah, guys, just, from the, I mean, yeah. you know, I like the idea of trying to spread it around, but nobody's yeah. nobody's ever going to do it like Milwaukee. Yeah. You, know? you just can't. It's all Dave's fault. You know, blame, I, was, blame, I really blame. would like Global <laughs> Fat Bike Day to be a different day because the two Rivers guys for Global Fat yeah, Bike no, Day had, had George, a great turnout. George does a really good job up yeah. there. Yeah. And it's just like you can't really do both. But George does a great job. He always gets a huge crew out on that yeah. beach ride. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's because their Santa Rampage is later. <laughs> well, it's the same day. Oh, later. Oh, they their do Green it. Bay Santa Rampage is later. We're talking oh. about George, right? George. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Broken spoke George. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Well, that's uh, probably beat the Santa Rampage thing to death. Everything is global flat bike day if you want it to be. Yeah. As well, you that's said. true. So. Uh, Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. We, I think we've talked a few shows about breweries closing around here. Oh, God. Another one's going. Like stones. Enlighten. Enlighten. Enlighten's gone. Oh, closing, really? Closing on huh. January 5th. Oh, no. So. Yeah, I don't know. There was a, a, a like a year ago. There was a thing. Twenty seven. Well, that's a lot like, of real estate places that, that brew building. beer in Milwaukee that are not you know big mega breweries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to be some thinning out though, probably. Huh? Unfortunately, enlightened the building was humongous. I'm yeah, thinking, I mean, just heating that place has got to be a tax. On yeah, thing. Well, I mean. I'm worried about 1840 now with the owner's wife being ill and and that's well, a hard operation tuck- to keep going. Yeah, but it's a tucked in that one building. So. Well, their brewery is actually in a different location. And they've got kind of like a weird business model, too, yeah. where it's kind of like a club sort of oh, And they're thing, huge into and... beer blending, a lot like a Harbor oh, Brewery like in Sprecher, uh, Zion. Kind of just, hey, we're going to rent out some of our right. bats. Yeah, that was a global fat bike day stop one and, time and in the past. They're good, but that's their, their niche breweries that do blending of beers, which mm. at first I thought was weird until I had a couple, and I'm like, okay, this kind of makes sense. Mm. But that's 1840s big oh, thing. So um, up uh, north of us, up in uh, Superior, is a um, a brewery that is starting to do some things with bike events up by us. Um, but uh, they uh, and they were with the Hungry Bear for a while when I ran the Hungry Bear gravel race because it's Ursa Ursa Minor brewing, and so uh-huh. I thought, oh, Ursa Minor, it's a bear, you know, a bear thing, it's a bear, bear thing. Yeah, you want to be bear. one of our bears, but um, so. They have a bunch of cool beers, but um, I recently had one that was absolutely delish that reminded me of one of Tim's beers, Spruce. Oh, and it yeah. is a spruce beer. It's called Sauna Beer, but it's Sauna. like a it's like a sessionable one though. So it tastes with, like it, with spruce. Yes, Interesting. it tastes like Tim's beer, but it 
doesn't but you have can to, have more than one. Yeah, the punch just like just <laughs> hit you over the damn yeah. head with a right. Yeah, interesting. With a, with it's a called, log of spruce. Yeah, right. But it tastes <laughs> a lot like his his beer. It just doesn't have quite the depth to it because it doesn't have that much alcohol, you know, in it. But yeah, so, it's really good. So I, it's not. Or so, they're a very small brewery still, so they don't really distribute a lot much. So. Right. But it's good if you ever get a chance, if you're ever up north. So you were saying sauna reminded me of a thing I saw this week of all of the public saunas in Finland. And I'd like to figure out what that mapping program was because people for the fatbike.com want somewhere where all the groomed trails are on a map. I think that's a great idea. But there are thousands and thousands and thousands of public saunas in Finland. I'm sure. Because it rules. You know how many are here? Zero. Probably none. Public sauna for the most part, yeah. Um, I mean, there's publicly accessible ones like yeah. Rome. Rome has one. You can right. rent. Uh, you can rent time outside of uh, Boone and Crockett. You They've can, got a sauna. Oh yeah, that's you true. You can rent them. There's a oh, bunch God, of companies yeah. up by us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Minnesota's got a big and they sauna got, rental. Yeah, and they have yeah, the it's taking over as well. the place yep. of the uh, the outdoor bar since, that I could have gotten a since drink we're going down simply instead of going in there going. Anyone? No. I'm okay. More of a hot I'm going to go guy. back outside and go into my See, backpack. I'm, we don't have either, but I'm. Uh, I went down a rabbit hole. My wife wants a sauna or wants a hot tub. I want a sauna. Um, I don't want to drop eight grand on a sauna and find out she doesn't like it. So I'm now gone to tent saunas. Mm-mm. Drug sauna. They're yeah. they're yeah. twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Wood fired. Yep. You can get them to two hundred degrees. And when you're done, you pack them up and take them away. Or you leave it up for the winter while right. you use it, and right. then you take it down And I am spring. hardcore considering one of those. Yeah. They make one with a pellet stove. Yeah. Well, so that's you don't have to, to keep feeding it. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can yeah. feed directly. Pellets, pellet stove. You got, sauna. They make noise. Oh, yeah. It, Drug you know, they do, right. but you can regulate the heat so much better. Oh. Drug sauna. <laughs> Drug sauna. Drug sauna. Oh, yeah. It's there a good go. band. <laughs> it's the name of a band they play out of a van. Yeah, they um, play out I do of love van. A, I do love a good hot tub, but the maintenance is a nightmare. Nah, I know. And that's one reason why. Sauna's not so much. Frozen pipes and all right. that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. So, Sauna, oh, on the other, especially a wood-fired, like for no. you with your land. Right. But, you know, we have a wood stove in our in our living room. So, like, and honestly, after like an hour, it's 85 degrees in our living room. So... You're sweating and taking stuff off anyway. It's not 180 degrees mm. or whatever, but it's Pl- but it's, it's pretty com- comfy. It's pretty warm, warm and it's pretty comfy. And we put a kettle on the top, uh, and it's yep. steaming. So yep. you know, so Your yeah, mini sauna. Or yeah, not quite small yeah. scale yeah, large sauna. <laughs> right. Yeah. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. Charging his uh, lighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually ran All my light talk, out on the rampage. Yeah, well, yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I was going like, as I was leaving, I'm like, Saturday, I don't think Sunday, I did recharge this son of a gun mm-hmm. on the way away. So. Were any of you guys around in the heyday of mountain biking back in the late 90s, mid 90s? Yeah. When, when, they nah, made, when they made American-made derailers. I was on ESPN. I, I podiumed on an ESPN film like wow. race, and I was on ESPN. Right on. Yeah. Do you remember American-made derailers out of, like, billet aluminum? Precision billet, Paul Components made one. Oh, American made, made yeah. Yes, right. derailers. Well, there's, there's, yeah. And now there's another one. Yep. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's, it's. Oregon? Are they yeah, out of Oregon? Yeah, I think yeah. they're out of Oregon. And they're it's, pricey. It's 300 yeah. bucks, 295 three, Yeah. And it's rebuildable. It's not that expensive. But they're claiming to, it's really, really nice. And rebuildable, and it's not. That's if you what compare they said about precision to, uh, billet, too. And I still have all the parts it takes to rebuild one, because they kept coming back to get rebuilt. <laughs> But because you, they would just they would just twist under load. I'm oh, sure these are way better designed. Yeah. But if you if you compare that price to like an XTR or True. A, you know two fifty plus. Yeah, yeah good right. point. So yeah, or an eagle. Or you could just run right. internally gears or right or we can speed. all go back to friction shifting. Yeah, I, I don't think I I've keep, actually love keep thinking bought about a new drivetrain part. Love in, friction. Although one by ten, it's hard. You got to be really finicky with that friction. Oh, well, I wanted to try it with. I got a twelve speed. Uh, Ungerman can do it. Oh, like it's no not tomorrow. friction though. Well, it could be. I have a just a yeah. thumb shifter for my twelve speed. Un- Ungerman's like, got a click, twelve click, speed click. thumb shifter, and he can shift that thing like a dream. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's all about I'm being precise. About it. It's it's literally like a tiny um, little um, nudge. Yeah, <laughs> it's next year. I'm like, how do you do that? Or it's all single speed. Or, or you just yeah. single speed. Or you just 
Fuck you, you fucking fuck. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. All right. So every Dave's, time I have a, it, anything it, with a derailer, something about the derailer goes to shit. Yeah. And I, no, I just have. I maybe I'm Charlie Brown. You know, I just oh, have you're that. Charlie Brown. <laughs> I just have that cloud on me. But it's just like, come <laughs> on, world. It, <laughs> it's not like I bang the hell out of it by any stretch. Mirror, mirror. But so, it all comes out to being one speed. Yeah. So just stay at one speed. Right on. Uh, right. uh, People that have listened to the show before probably know Dave's from up in Hayward, Wisconsin these days. Or Sealy. Technically Sealy. Sealy. Technically Sealy, but Hayward gives you a spot on the map to yeah. kind of where people may have been. You to can see find Sealy. It's, on a map you could, but. It's an intersection. Yeah, just people know generally where it is. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's halfway. And, I'm halfway between Hayward. Sealy is halfway between Hayward and Cable. Right on. So. And you have snow now. We do. We have snow. No, no shit. Yes. We've had snow for a while, consistent snow. It's not deep. Um, it's not enough to groom for fat bikes yet, but um, all our trails, the Canva trails are, it's that ride in perfect, you know. Nice. So everything, the nice thing about living in northern Wisconsin is that all winter long, it looks like a snow globe. <laughs> it looks like a pretty winter wonderland. The snow never gets that gray, dark, you know, because there oh, just yeah. isn't enough dirt in the air. And we get enough tiny little, even if it doesn't snow, but a tenth of an inch or something. It's enough to cover. Every couple of days we're getting just, you know, a yep. few it's pretty. dustings to make it pretty. So, so it's actually an amazing time to ride right now because you can ride all 100 miles of the Canva Trails they're all technically groomed for single track for nice. for fat bikes right now because they're in perfect and it's I just rode the other day and I I was riding just down like oh it's another perfect time because there's not enough snow for snowmobiles ATVs everybody's got them in their garage already <laughs> so nice. all the ATV trails and snowmobile trails are like they're your own I rode one I'll send you the picture I rode one the other day um and uh I was following wolf tracks the whole way, so I got wow, cool. I got some pictures. Cool. I got a picture. I'll send it to you for your show notes for later. Of, right on. of um, my fat bike tire next to a wolf wolf track. Wolves are big. They're yeah, big. you can also tell they're wolves and not dogs because um, they overprint. Wolves only leave like two. They, they, they step, they in, step their, in their they same step track. In their yep. same track. So dogs usually these are, ride single you know, file to yeah. hide their <laughs> numbers. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. So, um, only imperial. But yeah, troopers. so that was nice. But uh, yeah, so we've had great, great fat bike games awesome. right now. And uh, I've been trying to. I've rode every day in a row for like four days. Finally, for for forever. Sweet. I'm not like trying to you know my squirrel abatement or anything. Like that. <laughs> Normally, I how are those coming? Me. I'm at 23 flying squirrels and counting Fuck. from our rental. Are you relocating them? Yes. In, yes. <laughs> They're going to Are you relocating them Test, with a gun? Testing their flight. No, not a gun. Let me test your flight capability. I can promise they're never coming back. <laughs> they drown. All right. So so the, you've got the snow, you've got the cold. Uh, we kind of talked a f- couple times over the last couple of weeks about favorite winter year. Right. And I've, you, I saw that. I saw your hats and whatnot. They brought and some so props. I, I did bring some. Nice. Prop props, it up. Winter, so, winter what, props. What do you got? I thought about. Wearing the pants that I wear all the time, and then you could put as clickbait on the title "Dave Drops Trowel" on the YouTube. <laughs> but instead, I just brought them. So, um, so I have Ooh, these, those look comfy. The, they're made in USA. Big Bill. I don't know where Big oh, Bill. Where's Where's Big William from? I'm not Lined sure. Lined wool, thick. I, Lined ironed wool. I did that. Oh, I uh-huh. took an old. I took an old. Um, uh, silk uh sleeping bag liner that i never use and i lined the fronts um so i i split the seams and i just sewed in a front wind front of silk so now it's wind front but and it's thick wool so it's warm and it blocks the wind and it breathes really well you you know what i'm thinking of when i see that i do not fox yeah oh yeah well, that's what I, that's what I like, wore on Santa Rampage, right. my fox. And I also, I also tape, not wool. I tapered them when, when I, because I cut the seam down. They, they're meant to fit over boots and stuff. So then I, when I sewed them back, when I sewed the seam back, I tapered them a little bit. So, so they're more bikey. But they do, they are um, also really like 
high waisted, like they're old school dungaree style, like they they fit like old man pants and stuff. Which actually, for the winter, at your waist, where your actual <laughs> waist is, right you here just in the belt largest too, area. That's nice. That's yeah, around big my belly. belt loops. Not below yeah, my belly. <laughs> and it has. They have. If you wanted to use suspenders, suspenders. yeah, absolutely. You, if you want to go the bib route, if you're I'm a bib oh, guy only, you can go suspenders. Right. There's I like always it. a tweed right here. So. So these I wear, and I never wash them because they're wool. So I just hang them outside. Them I, air dry. I rinse yep. them off if they get muddy or something, and <laughs> then I just hang them to dry. Um, so I got those, and then I did the same thing. You'll recognize this shirt, Greg. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it looks very <laughs> similar. <laughs> Wait a so second. I did, the, I did the same thing to, uh, to an icon. Uh, uh, Kitspo. An icon, Kitspo icon. I took the same sleeping bag liner silk sleeping bag liner and sewed a front wind front into the front i wish the uh kitspo folks were still sewing because I, I really so do i so this shirt which is the same yep. pattern <laughs> this is the one that they tried to make for fat americans yeah but it's kind of shorter you just said Americans. it's not the oh. right it's not so the one i like the most is my gray one which is the original and even though I'm kind of looking at rotund, I did the same. It's, a, it's, it's I longer the, yeah. in here, and I like it. I more. did the same thing. At first, I tried with them to get their like their more relaxed fit, whatever it was, in the same size that I normally wear. And then I realized, you know what? This is still like I'd, so. I just ordered one size up now, so I get the large. Normally, I'm a medium. I get the large, and so that's a large. It fits over whatever, depending on yeah, different temperature layers. range. I can put a heavier wool base layer or something under it. And then it if it gets very cold, I have this Johnson Woolen Mills um com- super nice, very warm um thick wool. Thick wool and it's also though very breathable and it's a zipper. Um it doesn't have like the back funky pocket which again like the old Bullrich hunting, pure hunting ones have, but those again, that's just extra crap to stop it breathing in the back. And I find that like sweat management, if you're going to be out for yeah. more than a couple of hours, that's, that's the fine. number one thing. You just got to stay, keep from sweating. Too Certainly much. a th- common theme is wool. Yeah. Well, because it, it rules. It, it, if you do, so even my base layers are wool, and if they do get a little sweaty, they still hold heat, whereas, like, the sort of, like, plasticky stuff dries quicker. It does but dry. But it gets cold. But it gets cold if, Agreed. if Agreed. it, when it's wet. Have you tried alpaca or any of the other alternate fibers to wool? Other animals, yak, uh, yak. I think it's still wool, right? Yes, yeah, so yak, alpaca is still wool. Yak it's just fur, wool from a different, different animal. animal. Yeah. What about uh, Yeti fur? I think I mm. have had, like, hollow. Aren't those hollow? Sam those, Squinch. Those were Wisconsin company, hollow, hollow. socks. Yeah. yeah. And those are alpaca wool. I tried those. My socks, though, and I used to, I try to be Wisconsin first. And so I was a wigwam guy. And, Got tons of them. Right? But honestly... I, I hate to say this, Wisconsin sock makers, but but um, darn tough socks from Vermont are way better. Are better. They just last longer. I, and I get years out of my wigwams though. I I haven't. And they're got, cheap. I yeah, haven't. They, just, they kind of lose to me. They lose their yeah elasticity. Yeah, they're huh, they, maybe they it's just, just I'm getting lucky. The huggery. Yeah, I okay. have uh, Willow Ace are what I'm using now because I mm. they re- reasonably priced. You know, and still uh, the darn tough, darn tough ones from they're not super expensive or anything. They're they're a few bucks more than like a wigwam. Okay, you know I can get them at my farm, my L and M supply, my farm and fleet place. Oh, you cool know, on the rack. They're they're not you know yeah they're but yeah. Awesome. So anyway, you can't, I, you can't beat a quality pair of socks. I'm I sorry. agree, I mean, absolutely. And glove liners. I mean, you you get a decent pair of glove liners and a decent pair of socks. You're way better I, off riding. It, I, people were on the ride even when it was on uh, for the Santa Rampage, wearing two pairs of socks and I think making the you know too tight a fit and their toes are cold yeah. and it's yeah. like just wear one pair of socks right. in there, folks. Unless you're Let getting really cold and then bit. you got to do stupid stuff like baggies on your feet and whatnot. But yeah, but it wasn't cold like that Not for gonna, Santa Rampage. Yeah. No, well, it was no. Beautiful. People, some people were just wearing sneakers. And just trying to be clever. I and I'm, know, like, I I'm, like, in, I'm like, it's it's I nice my, out, but it ain't that nice yeah. out. I ride yeah. in my work boots yeah. and um yeah. and like, yeah. the winter 
I've got the waterproof lined Thoroughgood work boots, which are essentially like an insulated version of like yeah. the leather ones. And those, until it gets to be below zero or low single digits, those are fine. I don't have to switch out to something else. Um, we do have lots of icy places that I ride, um, both frozen lakes and icy gravel roads that get iced up all in the winter. So I do switch to, um, I've got those ice bug boots that have got the built-in studs on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just because you forget when you're on studded tires and you get off your bike. You fall, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Many totally. times. <laughs> I've got, uh, well, uh, grip stud still makes one that you, they're boot studs. You screw them into the bottom of your boots. I have used just like hex head machine screws that I screw into my Keens when it gets super cold, you know? Yeah, I've got a pair of Keens with like eight of them, I think. It's a couple up by the toe, a couple yeah, on the heel. I probably do it's that. It's enough not to fall down when you right. get off your That's bike, like you're saying. For, if I, if I'm riding on a frozen lake. Spe and I, speaking yeah. of that, the dude that was the elf at Santa Rampage who looked just like dude. Will Ferrell. The oh, one, yeah, yeah oh, that no. one guy, he did. you know. He looked, I'm like, holy shit, is real Will Ferrell on this ride yeah, with he us? Actually like, did look he a lot looked, like he was Will like Ferrell. six foot six. Hmm. He, it was good. I'm like, oh my What's god, up? I know that. Guy. I, that's what I said. I knew him. I knew him. <laughs> <laughs> I had just watched it before the ride because of Daniel. Oh, I like that movie. I like that movie. It's a good movie. What's her name? Uh, the singer. What's her name? Zoe, Zoe. Deschanel. Yeah, Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. She's uh, in some other shows too. She's New Girl, New Girl. Yeah, no, I liked that movie. When they got to oh, meet, she, when, really? when they got to meet oh, Prince, yeah. and Prince was there. Oh yes, oh, oh yes, you can freak out now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I, he said yeah. for New Girl? Nice. <laughs> I I knocked Prince down on outside First Avenue. We were both not looking where we we're going in the winter time, and he was wearing stupidly high. And oh, still like shorter, shoes. five foot and, tall. And, uh, and, and I was talking to you. my friends and smoking a cigarette and walking, and he was coming out, and <laughs> uh, boom, and I just fucking knocked Prince over. Nice. Was, oh, dudes. And this was before you had bodyguards everywhere and stuff, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I was like, oh. He was Otherwise, you wouldn't be here right, right. now. <laughs> yeah. No, he was cool about it. And a friend Dave of mine Zabowski. used to play basketball. Like, a friend of mine used to play basketball with he's him like, at Paisley But Park. he's like this yeah. tall, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a little over five foot, but he's actually a pretty good basketball player. Yeah, too. my friend mm -hmm. said he was a pretty good basketball yeah. player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right on. Well, folks, yeah, we're we're at that point. Uh, do you want to leave us with any thoughts, Dave, or uh, what's going on here? We could talk more, but uh, we don't have to. Well, like I said, uh, if you're looking for snow, um, we've yeah, got it. We've got just enough to make it like really nice riding everywhere. So. Um, you cannot go wrong it's in not, northern it, Wisconsin. It wasn't right the lake now. effect like uh, Buffalo and Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, no, no, we oh, don't get that. Oh, you yeah. know, they but so I, I haven't checked, but um, you know, over um, east of us a ways, they catch some of that in northern Wisconsin before it hits, like by Montreal and Guile and stuff like that. And so I wonder, I haven't looked, but Windman, if people haven't run at Windman, it's another awesome place to ride in the winter. Really great groomed trails, flowy, super well groomed, um, purpose built mountain bike trails. Okay. And they're really good. And they've got a great little place to get beer and snacks and food and stuff like that there. It's an amazing place to ride. Um, so they might have more snow than us, and if they do, it'll be groomed well. All right, I got to put that in the notes to remind yeah. myself. Besides your big, your big bill pants, I'd put kids put in there, but we oh, and they can't are, buy them anymore. And they over over there by that's by Boulder Junction and Winchester and Manitwish Waters, and um, and they are building an ice skating trail. Trail? Really? Yeah, That's... that sounds awesome. Like, with ele with elevation and everything. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, and they bought a, like they so bought a used five thousand dollar mini zamboni, and they're <laughs> building an ice skating trail. I like this I, idea. Where not, is this? I'm not ice ever skating, doing it, but I like it. It's like a pump Man, track. It, but it's, it's, <laughs> oh, I want to do this. <laughs> it's in Vilas County. An it's ice in skating pump County. track. I could see that. That sounds like a blast it yeah. really does send I, more info to they've the got them in finland <laughs> we're talking about finland they've got them in finland and that's where they got the idea there's lots of finnish people up by us so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. kim's cousin uh from the south side of chicago he would always go up 
in the God, that in sounds the like so much fun. Of, that of sounds like so much fun. And he's just like, he's like, uh, da, 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 and he's finally just full on moved up there. Yeah. So but they just, even bought his Zamboni for it, so it's <gasps> going to be legit. That's awesome. God, that sounds like a good time. It does sound like a good right. time. It sounds like a really You know what sounds like a good time, too? Beer. Tune in next week for show number 285. <laughs> Don't want to shoot it all this week. Well, yeah, I mean, Dave was the, pretty much made the show easy today because we didn't have to talk that much. Yes, sport of the dancers, <laughs> notwithstanding. Um, thanks for bringing some stuff to show. I you bet do have to check those pants out. Those look pretty cool. Yeah, they're not super expensive. Big either. Bill, they're not super. Good expensive. thing, yeah. Good thing you didn't wear them and had to pull them down. I was going to do that this oh. way. I have to check your pants out. <laughs> Would have come off very <laughs> interestingly. Yeah, especially fact. since you were just talking about wearing yours around your ankles, waiting for the bathroom. Right. It, w- well, it would have fit right in with the theme. I had shorts on underneath. <laughs> That's fine. Sure. Normal shorts. Sure. Yeah. G-string shorts. Same thing. Yeah. All right, everybody. Trap. Hey, thanks for listening. Ah, thanks. Ah, thanks to Dave for being here, and uh, thanks, Tony, for keeping the beer flowing. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh. Um.